Office Properties Income Trust just slashed its dividend by 54% and caused its share price to collapse. Now, if you recall, we actually predicted this on this channel a few months earlier. We predicted this correctly because there were a lot of warning signs. For one, the company owned a lot of single tenant office properties that will require a lot of capex in the coming years to keep them desirable. The company was also heavily leveraged, it suffered significant conflicts of interest, and then its payout ratio was too high. Despite that, a lot of investors still bought the stock of the company, hoping that its high dividend yield will be maintained and so today they are suffering the consequences. Unfortunately, I think that there are quite a few REITs that will suffer a similar fate in the coming years, but which one are they? Hey everyone, this is Yossi. I run a small investment firm that specializes in REIT investing. And in today's video, I want to talk to you about two specific REIT that expect to cut their dividend significantly over the coming years. As you will see, they have a lot of similarities with Office Properties Income Trust and you want to make sure to avoid this type of REITs because I think that the dividend cut will lead to significant capital losses. Now, before I get into it, if you could please like this video and subscribe to the channel, it will help me a lot. Thank you very much. So the first REIT I want to highlight here is called Global Net Lease, ticker symbol G and L. This is a REIT that yields over 10%. It pays a monthly dividend and so it's very attractive among a lot of individual investors who are looking for this high yield. However, I think that this yield is not sustainable. I expect it to be cut in the coming years because of all the following reasons. For one, the company owns a lot of single tenant office properties that I think will require a lot of capex in the coming years as its leases expire. Then secondly, just like office properties income trust, this is a REIT that's externally managed and suffers a lot of conflicts of interest. If you're not familiar with this topic of management structure with the external and internal management structure, I've actually filmed a video on this topic. I'll put a link somewhere on the screen so you can learn more about this. Then thirdly, the company has a lot of leverage. For fourth, it owns a lot of properties in Europe in markets that are struggling even more than the States. And finally, the company has a payout ratio that's over 100% once you adjust for the capex. And so I don't think that the dividend is sustainable. The company has actually cut its dividend in the past. Today, it's deluding shareholders by constantly issuing more equity, its FFO per share is declining, and so the risk of a dividend cut is only rising from here. Then the second read I want to highlight is called Necessity Retail Read, ticker symbol RTL. And again, here there are a lot of similarities with Office Properties Income Trust. This read doesn't invest in office properties, it invests instead in retail assets. I think that these assets are somewhat more desirable, but despite that, I think that the cut is very likely here because again, too much leverage, external management structure with a lot of conflicts of interest and a payout ratio that's above 100% once you adjust for capex. And finally, I think that the REIT is going to suffer a lot of capex as leases expire in the coming years, especially if we go into a recession and the retail market cools down. Overall, I still think that necessity retail REIT can be quite attractive here because share price is already heavily discounted. I prefer it when compared to global net lease and office properties income trust, but still I would much rather wait for the dividend to be cut before investing in this REIT. So to recap here, I think that these are the perfect examples of REITs that you want to avoid in today's market environment. They have external management structures that lead to a lot of conflicts of interest. They have too much leverage in today's rising interest rate environment, and they will require a lot of capex in the coming years, which will cost them dearly because of the high inflation of the recent years. Now in today's market, there's really no need to invest in these highly speculative REITs. Even the bluest blue chips are today discounted, and I've recently highlighted a few of them that I'm buying on this channel. I'll put a link somewhere on the screen screen of this video. And finally, if you want to access my full REIT portfolio, feel free to join my REIT newsletter for a two-week free trial. I'll put a link in the description of this video. And again, if you could like this video, subscribe to the channel, it will help me a lot. Thank you very much. See you at my next one. Bye-bye.